sideline with an offensive system for a, a secondary offense or a fast breaking style of offense. Every team says they want to run. Okay, every team says I want a fast break. I want to get easy baskets. Okay. We found over the course of time structure associated with a fast breaking system is the way to go. Otherwise you have mass chaos. No one knows where to run. You got forwards and centers running to the corners and you got people running all over the place. And then if you don't get a layup, now what do you do? Okay, everybody's like, oh, okay, well, uh, well, uh. So we put structure to something. All right, we stole it from the Philadelphia 76ers when they had Julius Irving and Daryl Dawkins and Bobby Jones. And I'm dating myself, I don't know, some people who's I know Tony, you know, <laughs> players like that. Okay, we stole it from them. Uh, they won a championship with it. We stole it from them. We won two championships with it. And I put it in with a shock and won three championships with it. And I put it in Swift Cash, who was my primary attack weapon on, on the offense. It's a structured system where you come down, you push the ball up rapidly. It doesn't mean you dribble the ball into the ground up rapidly. It means you push the ball up rapidly. And then you immediately look at a primary weapon in the post. Normally it's a small forward or a fast forward that can run down there, immediately post up. If they're open, give them the ball before the rest of the defense gets back in there. No one wants to run back on defense, right? They don't do it. They jog back, they move around, they run backwards. Okay, so the defense can't get set. If you push the ball up there, attack immediately. They can't double team you if you have a great post player and you can get really easy baskets. Okay, we had a game on national television against Connecticut when I was with the shot. They shot a free throw. We pushed the ball and push it up, pass it. Look at a wide open layup off a free throw. Okay, because it, what it does is it conditions your team to run. Okay, it's a early in practice situation. While you run it in the game all the time, it's a great way to get up and down the floor, pushing the basketball, getting the offensive system in place, it's conditioning, it's offensive structure, and it gets you going into practice all the time. There's numerous ways we can do it. Now, we'll start at the half court. Ladies, like the half court. Okay, a lot of times, a lot of times they'll be off a of dead ball, especially off of free throws. Okay, because now you're taking the ball out of bounds, and you're pushing it up. What happened is, as soon as they're in a change of possession, we'll say their team has made a free throw. Made a basket. We said we'll use a three of the small forward as our example of running. The small forward will put the five together. One guard, two guard, two small forward, two guard, two power forward. Okay, 
get that. They can't get the ball in. They have nothing. Five comes down, goes to the screen, right down there to four. Here comes four. Now, are you a shooter? Right here. Okay. Oh, I have a nice free throw shot. Okay. Easy. Not. Five. Five comes down and sets that screen. Give me the ball. I'm right there. Okay. It's a good screen. Open up. You make it the basketball. You don't get the basketball. What do you got to do? Get out of the lane. You're going to go three seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. Okay. You don't get it like, ah, 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 I hope you're going. Oh, it's open. Here, I'll Three seconds. Okay, you don't get it? Come on, move. Okay, there's the ball. Now, we have a choice. What you have to do is, there's our point guard. Big ball. What are you going to do? Let's go pick the ball. Okay. That way, you, you, you throw, you throw it ahead. Attack, don't have it, you have a shot, swing the ball. Is the four open now? You can throw right in the four from there. Let a good post up player for you, boom, boom, right in there. If not, pick and roll. Or, go swing with two guards. Shot, all kinds of different things you can design on. There's many different things you can do. Now, Coming down, if the point guard can't pass ahead, two guard, just run out. Run to the other side, the point guard feels that, looks to throw it inside, if not, same action. Here comes the five, four, here we go. Everybody has their 
Turn straight. Post up player that side. Post up player this side. Go to the two guard who can attack. Normally your two guards are always the ones that are the best scorers. Okay? Come back to the point guard for pick and rolls. Okay, now you go through all that. You only use 10 seconds. Okay, maybe 12 seconds. Now if you don't have anything, okay, now what do we do? Pull it back out, we got a lot of time. Let's run it. Okay, that's what we call sideline now. Multitude of things. You can run a sideline two where it almost like way I'm gonna do it. Push the two guard through, two guard comes up with three staggered streets and comes up to the foul line for a shot. You can run, you go to sideline five where down comes the five players coming to the court and all of a sudden three comes up and back picks the five. Five rolls into the post. Go it inside. If not, what happens with the three defender? Three defender goes, uh oh, that's not like this to help. Now the three's going to shot the foul. So it's a way to try to get easy baskets because it's so hard to score in today's basketball world. Not only from and you get to the professional level, the defenses are too good. You get into the youngster level, they don't make a lot of outside shots. So you want to try and get as many layups or as many post up opportunities as you can, especially when the other team's confused on defense and not running back enough. So it's a good way to push the basketball and to get some easy shots. Yes, question. So, so who can do this? What exercise do you recommend? Running. <laughs> and and, and have drills to kind of pick up. You saw the Olympic shooting drill. They're running. This, this is a great early practice drill. Or it's, it's part of your offense to begin with. But it's a fast breaking situation. They move up the floor and they run through their sets. Okay? And then what you do is, we only did it on one side here. Normally we go down there, run down, run to the 